Live from Garden Grove, California, welcome to the 30th Annual Strawberry Festival Parade. Join Grand Marshals Rosemarie and Rip Taylor and stars from your favorite television shows. And now, taking you down the path of strawberry memories, your hosts, Sally Struthers and Tristan Rogers. Hi! Hi! <laughs> You're... I'm Tristan Rogers. And I'm Sally Struthers. <laughs> and we're here to revive some memories, strawberry memories from the 50s. Yeah, I remember saddle shoes and ponytails. Are you that old? Yes, I am 56 that Fords old. and all the things we did in the back of them? I own a 56 Ford and I'd be happy to do anything with you in really? that car, yes. Well, it's everything's up for negotiation. <laughs> We're going to take a look back to the 50s. We're going to uh, see a lot of parade uh, bands and stuff. We're going to see a lot of equestrian people. We're going to see some favorite celebrities. And, and the most interesting part... Special appearance by... Three superstars from the 50s. And I really am looking forward to this part. So am I. So let's get started. Indeed. We're going to open up here this wonderful Strawberry Festival parade. Yes. With 50 US flags and a fabulous performance by the United States Navy Recruiting Training Command from San Diego. The Color Guard, Drum and Bugle Corps and Drill Team are under three separate commands. I want to say that these dedicated uh, young chaps are from all over the country and they're not professional musicians, but they're very talented themselves. Perspective members are selected for their natural abilities and volunteer hundreds of hours of practice before appearing in parades and special events. And they travel thousands of miles a month performing. I wish I had their, their what do you call that thing you get, that bonus plan? Oh, the travel miles? Right. Yes. I'm sure they've got quite a bit being in the Navy. Does the Navy give them travel miles? I don't know. I thought they had to travel by boat. <laughs> Although these companies require hours of practice, each man is expected to complete his recruitment instruction and normal boot camp schooling. Therefore, an assignment in one of these three companies is both rewarding and difficult. Very difficult. Now, the official welcome banner is being carried by cheerleaders from various Garden Grove high schools. But the point is they're not here yet. It's a hard job to follow the Navy. I tell you. It's a hard job to follow the script. <laughs> Don't they look good? They look good because they're young, they're strong. They're healthy. They're in the Navy. All the things we're not. And they're musicians. And I we're just actors. I especially like those chrome-plated helmets. I never had one of those when I was in the service. I had to have an old khaki-painted one. These girls are from various Garden Grove high schools. And behind the banner is a canine unit from the Garden Grove Police Department. Walking beside the car is an officer with Blue. His name is Blue, one of several trained canine dogs there in Garden Grove. Blue was donated to the police department by the Strawberry Festival Association five years ago. And the chief of police, Frank Kessler, is riding inside the car for his last appearance in the parade. Now, his law enforcement career started 30 years ago, and uh, he's in his 12th year as uh, chief of police, and will retire in August, and I'm particularly close to chiefs of police. Our first equestrian unit in this year's parade is celebrating its 50th anniversary, the Long Beach Mounted Police. This flag-bearing unit of matched Palomino horses with sterling silver saddles has participated in parades across the United States and Hawaii, as well as such countries as Canada, Mexico, and Argentina. Led by President Jerry Rout and Captain Bill Hardy, all of the riders are professionals and businessmen who own and maintain their own horses and equipment, and those horses look mighty fine, don't, don't they, they, Tristan? Indeed they do. Now, from right here in Garden Grove, this is the Garden Grove High School Band. Led by director Ed Peterson and flag instructor Lisa Curtis, this band has won 150 awards over the past five years, including several sweepstakes in local Southern California competitions. Now, let's watch and listen as this 50-member band and flag unit wearing red, white uniforms with black silver trim for those of you that don't have color television. Perform for us with drum major Jeff Kritzinger and flag leader Sayuri Tanuma. You said those names very well. I've been practicing this. Yeah. See, we don't have 
this sort of thing back in Australia. Is that no parades in Australia? Well, we have parades. We don't have this kind of thing here. We, it's a little more... This is, this is what sterile. makes America great. I know. I, I was, I've always wanted to be a drum major. <laughs> and I wanted to play the tuba. I didn't have the legs, though. What do we have coming up at the rear? Oh, it's time to introduce the Grand Marshals of the 30th Annual Garden Grove Festival Parade. Let's welcome Rose Marie and Rip Taylor. All right, let's have a big one for the both of them. Both of these talented performers bring back memories of, to many of us. Rose Marie is certainly remembered for her five-year co-starring role on the hilarious Dick Van Dyke show. These days, she's touring with her four girls four act and making appearances on such shows as Duet and Remington Steel. Uh, rips a varied career in stand-up comedy, film, television, theater. Oh, now? He's kept us now? all laughing for years, not to mention his stocks in... Uh, Come on, now, everybody. His stocks Come on, that's Pitchcock. Rose Marie. Come on, give me a nice big hand. That's Rose Marie. <laughs> this is Rip Taylor. He's crazy. Hi, Rip. How are you? Hi, Rose Marie. Hi, Rip. How are you enjoying it here? Good morning. Yes, it is. What are your favorite memories from the 50s? My, My old hair. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary, give me a 50s oh, memory. And remember, this is, uh, this well, is television. Well, I didn't do the Van Dyke show until the 60s. Oh, well, then you were just being a naughty actress in the 50s. That's right. Nice to see you, Sally. Nice, to, nice see to see you. Isn't this wonderful? It's wonderful. You look great. So do you. Thank you. <laughs> Terrific, Rip. Any color you want, Tristan. I got it. <laughs> That's Rosemary. Say hello before she dies. All right, the Garden Grove Strawberry Festival Association. Why don't I revive myself? It's proudly celebrating their 30th anniversary with this float entitled Memories. Now, Miss Garden Grove, Angela Sanders, and her court of princesses, Christine Van Boris, Michelle Cooper, Teresa Swinart, and Denise Lindholm, along with Tiny Tot, King and Queen, Brandon Force, and Diana Renee Go. are featured. Yeah. What it says Silvery here. Silvery gates up, open up to personally invite us all to enjoy the Hi, girls, very fine longer? hospitality in Garden Grove. The Strawberry Festival continues, by the way, remember this, through Monday at the Village Green here in Garden Grove. Now, that looks terrific. Don't Let's wait. meet the mayor of Garden Grove. Yeah. Jay Tillman Williams. And with him, a with big him. drum roll, if I could do one for uh, you. Can you Brrr. Brrr. Oh. With him is Kitty Dukakis. Uh, he's currently serving his second two-year term as mayor. First was from 76 to 78. And Mayor Williams is a 26-year resident of Garden Grove and is the founder and owner of Satellite Financial, which provides real estate, insurance, income tax, legal and notary services. Kitty! Kitty Dukakis, how do you like Garden Grove? It's great. How do you I'm like delighted to be here. Good. I love them. Good. Terrific. This is the home of them. Mayor Williams, it's nice to see you today. Oh, it's good to see you here. Good to, uh, good to be here. Uh, uh, Sally. I hope you hey, your feet before you that that's, that's, I shouldn't forget that's my wife's name. <laughs> but she's in Japan today, so I got oh. Mrs. Dukakis here. Lucky All you. Right. Yes. Hmm. What Hi there. Behind the mayor are two familiar faces, Anne-Marie Johnson and Tom Villard. Anne-Marie is currently starring as Athea Tibbs in NBC's new series, In the Heat of the Night. And Tom, Tom is busy practicing his comedic timing each week on the first run syndicated series, We Got It Made. Now, I've been told, I have been told, this isn't your first strawberry festival. Okay, is that true? Is that true that this isn't your first strawberry festival? You've both been here before? Yes, no? No, yeah. You haven't yeah. been here. Last yeah. year. Yeah. Uh, this is like my third. Can we have a forum on this answer? Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing? Oh, uh, well, we're here. Yes. My mother's here. I didn't think anybody got up this early, but. Oh, yeah. Mom is here. Mom is here. Let's wave to Mom. Well, Anne Marie, I thought that was your sister. That's your mother? <laughs> oh, good, Sally. Real good. Well, and Tom's nephew. My was... nephew is right here. What's his name? Tyler. Is there anybody you didn't bring? Hello. Yeah, Hi, <laughs> Tyler. How are you guys doing? We're doing Bye. great. Yeah. Sally, I saw you in the odd couple, and you were amazing. Well, thank Ooh, wow. you yeah. very, very much. Were you, which one were you? I was the clean, neat, tidy one on Broadway oh. for a year. It was Hi, very exciting. Casting against Todd. Oh, look now, who's coming now. This is the 92-member group is the Pacifica High School marching band with color guard and drill team units. Under the direction of Brad Van Patten, no relation to Dick, I don't think. 
and drum major Craig Bretland, they compete in numerous field tournaments and often receive superior concert band ratings. Denise Davis and Kelly Carter are flag captains. Leading the drill team are Rachel Parker, Rhoda Sparberg and Krista Jenkins. Now let's watch and listen as they perform. You know, I always wanted to wear one of those uniforms. Which one? The, the, the marching girls uniforms or the marching band uniforms, uh, Tristan? No. Um, the, uh, the, the, the guys. Uh, I'm glad to hear that, and yeah, so I is think, America. I think we can all breathe a sigh of relief there. I never wanted to be the gal in the front because she doesn't have anybody to copy. That's right. She's all on her own. Are, they, are they waving to us or what? We'll be back with more strawberries. In just a, a moment. moment. Garden Grove is quality living. Discover the ambience. Settle into attractive housing surrounded by parks and playgrounds. The perfect place to raise a family. An ideal community for adults and children. Entertain and enrich yourself with Shakespeare Under the Stars. Dining, libraries, museums. Engage your child's mind in the largest school system in the county. Churches and synagogues, including the world-famous Crystal Cathedral, offer inspiration. Garden Grove has excellent medical centers, and the best fire and police protection. Garden Grove, the heart of Southern California. Be a part of our community. Garden Grove, you should see us now. And welcome back to the 30th annual Strawberry Festival at? Garden Grove. Of course. California. I mean, we'd know if it was Florida, wouldn't we? We <laughs> certainly would. Let's see who's coming next. Oh, here's another veteran participant of the Garden Grove Strawberry Festival, Mr. Billy Barty. Billy returned for his third year as Master of Ceremonies of the Tiny Tots Contest, which was held yesterday. Billy! Hi, Sally. Billy, Billy! Billy, Billy listen, now, we know you spent a lot of time working with an organization you found in the late 50s, the Little People of America. You want to tell us a bit about that? Oh, well, I started the Little People of America about 30 years ago, and uh, then the Billy Barty Foundation, uh, about uh, 1975 and we helped the people in their medical and educational uh, support and so uh, give us a call all That's right. So all right thank you and I'm so looking forward to going and seeing you in Willows oh uh, well thank you very um, much yes uh, as a matter of fact I'm gonna see it this afternoon at a private screen give me a call I shall I liked it <laughs> Did you? it was really good <laughs> I'll see you now. Thank you, Bill. Hi, out there. Hi, Billy. Good to see you. Hey, yes, yeah, hello to Kimberly. Howdy doody. <laughs> We're certainly glad to have this float back okay. here again for the 30th annual Garden Grove Strawberry Festival Parade. It's the Rocking Chair Emporium's entry called a turn of the century soda fountain. And it certainly brings back a few strawberry memories of the 50s and soda fountain get togethers. We never had soda fountains back in Australia. I'm so sorry no. for you. Thank goodness you're in America now. We had bars back then. Ah. As you can see, these are there are two dancers on the float, and they are Denise and Evan. And a big thanks to the Rocking Chair Emporium for this adorable soda fountain float. Makes me want to go out and Buy a have soda. a strawberry milkshake immediately. How long have they got to keep dancing like that? I think they've got to dance for miles, so it looks to me like they're conserving their energy. Wait a minute. Is this one of those self-propelled floats? This is a self-propelled float. You notice no one is pushing it, no one is pulling it, and the dancers are not pedaling any There are ten pedals. caterpillars in there. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Denise and Evan, you look great. They do, indeed. I can tell they've been practicing. Who's here next, Tristan? Well, you know, magic has always been mystifying to audiences for almost a century now. 
And one of today's masters and our next guest, Harry Blackstone, son of the great Blackstone. And riding with him is his wife, Gay. Harry was named Magician of the Year twice by the Academy of Magical Arts. Hi, Harry. Hi, Gay. Hi there. How tell us, tell us about your, your upcoming appearance on America's Biggest Birthday Party. Uh, we're going to be in St. Louis over 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of July under the giant arch and going to have about 4 million people there. So why, why, why don't you and Samantha come Harry's and join Harry's going to disappear now. Take what? me with you. We will. Please Puff do. a smoke and he's gone. As no, I no. recall, you were an assistant once in your life. <laughs> what, what is it with you, Harry? What is it with you, Gay? You two and Dick Clark never get any older. <laughs> well, there's a portrait of us all at home that's growing old. <laughs> it looks terrible. Ah, uh, yeah. the magic yes. of it all. It's great to have you here today. You Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to see Glad you, Tristan. Pleasure. Right, what's ne next? Next is the American Writing Club for the Handicapped. It just keeps on happening, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. These writers are much more than just young equestrians smartly dressed in Western-style costumes. What are they? Then? Well, all of them have overcome or undergone life-threatening surgeries and are currently members of the therapy writing group located in Anaheim. The second unit is their vaulting team. Now, by becoming competent horse people, they hope to show their disabilities aren't handicaps on the road to success. The American Riding Club for the Handicapped has proudly ridden in this parade since 1982. All right, let's hear it for that. Come on, a big hand here. How is she hanging on at the back there? She's uh, an acrobat. She's obviously been practicing and she looks good. Indeed, there's no wires holding her up. No, she's self-propelled. Well, she's this propelled by one horsepower. <laughs> one horsepower. <laughs> oh. oh, look what we've got coming down the street now. Marching in military-style uniforms, here is the La Quinta. La Quinta. Right. Thank you. We went through those. Yes, we practiced. And you remembered. La Quinta High School Aztec Band from Westminster. The band was formed 23 years ago, and boy, are they old and tired. Indeed. No. And this year, they are 40 members strong. The Aztec Band is performing under the direction of James L. Webb, uh, and they recently participated in the tour to San Jose Command Performance Festival. Let's listen as drum major Catherine Manasi leads them. Let's hear it, Kathy. I always wondered how they twirl that thing around there. Oh, throw it up in the air. I took baton lessons. I beat myself silly. Yeah, what happened? I had to give it up. It always landed in my face somewhere. Uh-huh. Do you ever feel like you want to get up and dance when you or I, march? Or... I want to get up and march. I've recently made a walking video, and I want to tell you there's nothing better for you aerobically to keep you fit, healthy, and live a long a life than video. walking or marching. You made a walking video? I you mean, did. You just had someone trail you around with a camera while you walked, and you got paid for that? All right, the Strawberry Festival Association is made up of entirely of volunteer workers who contribute to making this such a wonderful festival. Now, this gentleman is one of the longtime members, Jack Wallen. And to recognize his 30 years of outstanding service, he's being honored today as Parade Marshal. And with him is his wife, Marge. Hello, Jack. Hello, Hi, Marge. Marge. Good to see you. You look great. I love that car. Yeah. Fabulous Fords forever, I yes. was in one of those because I was in this thing in 84. Yeah, that looks like the same car. I think it overheated. <laughs> well, the romance and intrigue of the Mideast is captured in this float, which is brought to us by the Indio Date Festival. A mystic Arabian design decorates the rear of the float and sets the scene for Queen Scheherazade Crystal Brown and her enchanting court, Diane Alvarez and Melissa Nungare. Now, the, the, the date service is not a dating service. No, We're it's... We're to point that out. It's I not mean, computer dating. No, it's, it's this is date, not a single the, service the fruit, here. The, right, the, the fruit. Is it a fruit or a vegetable, a date? Well, it depends who we're talking about, I guess. <laughs> the Indio Date Festival is a full fair with carnival rides, camel rides, and even ostrich races. It's held in February, and it's a lot of fun. Even the staff members and the concessionaires dress in Arabian costumes. We thank the Indio Date Festival for this beautiful first-time entry in our parade. This is a first? A first? Crystal Brown, you are a beautiful queen. And what are you doing later? <laughs> I'm a, am, I, am, I, am I allowed to say that sort of thing? On the yes, end? you are. Yeah. As long oh. as you're single. A lo lo <laughs> Hi, love. 
You look awfully lonely up there. Oh, hey, wait a minute. My competition's just arrived. Let's meet the days of our lives ISI spy team of Shane Donovan and Gabrielle Pascal. And these are actors Charles Shaughnessy and Karen Moncrief. Now, Charles joined the hit daytime drama within 18 months after leaving General Hospital under suspicious circumstances. <laughs> and today his career, is a, his character as Shane is so popular that he's been rated one of daytime's favourite male actors. Karen landed the role of Gabrielle after moving to L.A. from New York where she had just finished a two-month recurring role on The Guiding Light. Hey, may I have your attention for a second? Hi. How are you, mate? Good to see you. Nice to see you, mate. Yeah, and you. I haven't Long seen time. you since I've been, yes, ever since they, ever since you, they oh, got rid of you up General Hospital. That's right. Holly's cousin. I played that for, you know, it feels like months, but it was only a week. That's, are your characters right? going to become yeah. an item on the show in the near future? Well, we were, we were, what do you say? I have a feeling Gabrielle's on the out. So. And what about off, uh, what about <laughs> off camera? I'm looking for a new love interest these days. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you, mate. Ah. Well, here are a dozen clowns in action. The Orange County Clowns from Santa Ana and all of Orange County. Among those clowning around and entertaining all of the spectators are Chairman Daryl Zimmerman, Secretary Treasurer Lee Zimmerman, a little nepotism here, right, I think, I'm in the sure. clown department, and Parade Coordinator Paul Black. You know, in the past two years, Tristan, the yeah. Orange County Clowns have received numerous first place awards at area parades really? and are often found bringing joy and happiness to handicapped children and senior citizens of Orange County. Well, that counts for a lot. <laughs> counts for a lot. I like the one in the little fire engine. Yeah, I, Look I, at him, is he cute? I like the guy uh, with the glasses. I'd like to give that fire engine to my daughter. The one, the, the, this one here looks a bit like my agent. <laughs> shaking their booty. You know, a lot of people think that uh, working as a clown is pretty simple, but it's, it's very um, demanding work. I mean, we're all clowns, but some of us are clowns and some of us are clowns. I wonder what that was. I don't know, but Hi guys. these clowns are certainly Indeed. making the crowd happy here. Brought his own Look sound at those faces system along. across the street of those little children. They are loving this. Indeed. Whoa, look who's coming now. The Strawberry Festival is the second largest community-sponsored event in the Western United States. And heading the association, which puts it all together, is this chap here, President Larry Schaefer. Now, actually, Larry is a 10-year board member and second-time president. Each year, the festival earns proceeds which benefit over 150 local charities. And last year, they were proud to make their largest donations ever. President Schaefer, welcome. Well, welcome to you. Well, Thank it's you good for to coming. See you here. I'd like to introduce my wife, Jean. Hello, Jean. Hello, this Jean. This is our driver, Linda Grant. Hi, well, Linda. hello, Linda. You're doing a lovely job. Take good care of Larry and Jean. She does. And look after that Mustang, because I'm a very, I'm a big fan of Mustangs. Larry, I want to ask you if you could give us a few examples of the association's charitable contributions last year. We certainly can. The Garden Grove Symphony, the Garden Grove Gym Theater, the Girls Club. Uh, the city of Garden Grove, we had quite a few we're very proud of. About $80,000 last year. Whoa, That's most you impressive. should be proud. We are, thank you. Congratulations. Have fun today. And we hope to see you back here next year. I'll be here. We won't necessarily be here, but... Uh, <laughs> equestrians George Jacques and Nancy Jacques stole a riding in fancy Western costumes decorated with beads, rhinestones, embroidery, and anything that was left over from the Liberace estate. George is on his Pinto Parade horse, Tonga, and Nance is riding Jacques' Little Apache. They're from Lakeside, California, and have been riding in parades for over 15 years, including the famed Hollywood Christmas Parade. Welcome. Is that Jacques or Jake's? Oh, Jake. right. Jake's well, Little Apache, huh? What a beauty. Well, it's my accent. It is. You're from Australia. We forgive you. Good to see you. That's two horsepower, then. Two horsepower. Yeah. 
I wouldn't mind having one of those in my garage. Indeed. Who's this chap? Well, Garden Grove is proud to welcome Senator Cecil Green to the parade. Senator Green began serving the 33rd State Senatorial District after winning a special state election in 1987. He's been appointed as chairman of the Senate Public Employment and Retirement Committee and serves as a member on numerous other committees, including the Education Committee and the Agriculture and Water Resources Committee. You are one busy guy, Senator Green. He's committed. And you look awfully good riding on the back of a black T-bird. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you for being with us today, Senator. 57. I'm sorry. I stand corrected. It was a 57. I committed the pardon Well, you're sin. from Australia. I know. What do I know about Thunderbirds? <laughs> this talented group has the distinction of being the only intermediate marching band in the Garden Grove School District. They are the Alameda's Intermediate Condor Marching Band. I dare you to say that again faster. No, no, it's only in the contract that I have to say it once. <laughs> Anna Yee is the solo majorette and Lynn Lynette Van, du Van Boris directs the band. Danielle MacArthur, or Daniel MacArthur is the drum major and Thomas Ryder is his assistant. Leading the drill team is Captain Agnes Ponteris and the captain of the Tall Flags unit is Teresa now, how do I say that? Well, I think it's Agpulsa. Teresa Agpulsa. Thank you. You're welcome. Formed only three years ago, they've received several awards, including first place in the Corona Parade. That is not the beer. <laughs> they're spinning those letters. I know. I wonder how they know when they're right side up again. Uh, oh, it must be that little point at the top. That helps those girls. That's the reason that they paid you the big bucks to come here. Well, I have trouble walking and talking at the same time, so I admire anybody that can walk, smile, and spin letters. Yeah, I, I agree. Could Vanna White spin her letters while she was walking and talking? I, I want to know this. Well, I guess we can push the little red button and talk about this off air, but... <laughs> I love a parade. Uniforms. They, they're more like costumes than, than uniforms. They're really fun. A lot of people might confuse that with the angels. You know, as part of last night's opening ceremonies, the festival presented the largest strawberry shortcake in the world. Did you know that? No. And it served 4,000 people. All of the strawberries used in the cake came from the field right behind the grandstand across from us. And it's owned by Stanley Ruse. And each year for 30 years, he's donated his strawberries to the festival. And now, we're going to go to a commercial. Yes, yeah, we'll stay be back. with us. We'll, we'll be, be back. right back. We'll be back. Garden Grove is commercial development. Discover the variety. The changing look. Growing. Attracting developers that are making Garden Grove a center for products, services, and jobs. It starts with Garden Grove's modern attitude toward planning. Two new medical facilities. The Plaza Alicante. And additional office buildings will generate over 3,000 jobs. California moves on wheels, and we planned the Garden Grove Auto Center to fit that lifestyle. The city is renovating, expanding. Commercial development means products, services, jobs. We're making it happen. Garden Grove, you should see us now. Welcome back to the Strawberry Festival and many more strawberry memories. Welcome back. It's your turn to talk. It's my turn to talk. Let's see who we've got coming now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everyone knows Garden Grove grows the best strawberries around. And here are a few of the best berries in town. They are Twinkles the Strawberry Clown and her three berries. <laughs> Twinkles is 68-year-old senior citizen Hazel. the Hazel, oldest strawberry in the world. The yeah. oldest surviving strawberry. Hazel Tattleford. And the berries happen to be her grandchildren, Julie Christie and Josh Statzer. This is Twinkle's 15th Strawberry Festival Parade. Now, when she isn't parading, she and her berries can be found entertaining the residents of area convalescent homes. Welcome, Hazel Tattleford. Yeah, yeah, they look kind of tired for 15 years old, wouldn't you say? 
<laughs> now, just behind the berries is Natalie Schaefer. Now, this lovely actress began her career on Broadway, moved to film and the television where she starred as Mrs. Thurston Howell III, also known as Lovey, on the great show Gilligan's Island. Now, we all remember this one. Her most recent role was in a film entitled The Beverly Hills Brats. Welcome, Natalie. Thank Good you. to see you, love. I understand that the castaways from Gilligan's Island, Island sorry, recently got together at the Children's Orthopaedic Hospital. And what was the occasion? You want to talk about that? What was the one? What was the occasion there? Oh, I think there was another Gilligan Island special. Do with that. And we all got together. Oh, there's that. Oh, sorry, Natalie, we've got a You're bad You're breaking night. up there. It's breaking up. It's great to see you. Yes. What about a big hand for Natalie? Next, we have the U.S. Marine Corps Mounted Color Guard from Barstow, California. The first special mounted unit of the Marine Corps dates back to the 1830s, Tristan, around the time when you were born? Yeah. When they rode into battle against the Seminole Indians in Florida and Georgia. What was the outcome of that? Well, you should Indians know you were five, there. Uh... <laughs> Seminoles, <laughs> three. Today, the Mounted Color Guard primarily rides in parades wearing the traditional dress blue uniform, riding boots, white gloves, and matching belt. <laughs> you look quite smart, gentlemen. Yeah. I don't like the look of that sword he's got there. Now, memories rocking back through the years is the theme of our next float, brought to us by Toyota of Garden Grove. This musically designed float features giant golden oldie guitars and a huge piano keyboard reminiscent of the 50s rock and roll era. All of the beautiful ladies riding the float have in the past reigned as Miss Garden Grove. And thanks to Toyota of Garden Grove, open seven days a week, which is a first in Orange County, we're able to make this trip back in time. Pounding around the float is a crazy group of clowns called Funny Business. And I believe this is another one of those self-propelled floats. It is self-propelled. Definitely. As it's you propelled. can see, those clowns, Funny Business, they're they self-propelled too. They yeah. are self-propelled as well. That's a great float. I'd like to pull one of these self-propelled floats apart. I want to see what self is propelling one of them. Hi, girls. Good morning, ladies. Yes. Huh? You're from Melbourne? That's too bad. One of our past reigning queens is from Melbourne, Australia. Really? Thank you, Toyota, for that wonderful float. I won a Toyota in a ski Did you? tournament What'd two you months do with ago. It? They just delivered it at my home, a Toyota Supra Turbo Targa. Really? Mm. And you won that? I did, not for my skiing. Representing the city of Fountain Valley, here is the Lobo Band and Tall Flag Unit from the Los Amigos High School. Very Robert good. Wilson directs the 40-member group dressed in black, white, and orange military uniforms and sporting black shakos. Monica Fornesca is the tall flag advisor. Sasha Hope and Michelle Burney are the mascots. I want to see you do the next one here. Drum Major Mark Lewandowski Very leads good. them in their eighth appearance in the Strawberry Festival Parade. That was Looking very good, Mark. Indeed. He has his lunch underneath that hat, I understand. <laughs> At least two apples, I've heard. Okay, now, if Some Like It Hot and Jailhouse Rock are two of your favorite movies, or if Peggy Sue and Hound Dog bring back some old memories of the good old days, you'll recognize this trio, Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe, and Buddy Holly. Now, these legendary superstars from the 50s are recreated by Tony Roy, Laura Peters, and George How you doing, Julian. folks? Doing pretty good. How, How are you doing? doing? How are you? Welcome! Yes. Hey, we got the chance to come see us at the Imperial Palace in Las Vegas. Hey, do we have any rock and rollers out here today? We are. You're looking remarkably good. Yeah. We would like to know what music you're going to be performing at your concert this afternoon at the Strawberry Festival. Anything you want. Oh. oh. Anything, anything you want, baby. <laughs> you know anything by Led Zeppelin? We're, we're going to be doing uh, some ZZ Top and, uh, no, we're going to be doing uh, all the hits from the 50s. We're going to do some Peggy Sue and some Hound Dog and uh, some Love Me Tender. A lot of surprises. And maybe a couple of Marilyn's favorites. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, right. <laughs> Everything's negotiable. It's great to see you, Tony, Indeed. Laura, and George. Thank you. Or you guys should I say Buddy, Marilyn, and Elvis? 
Thank you. I'm from Huntington Beach, and uh, this is really a thrill for me. This is great. We come out to the Strawberry Festival every year. Hope everyone's having a good time. Come, come to Las Vegas and see us, all right? Hey, Dave, I just I've want to tell you, show. you're still beautiful. Oh. I enjoy your seeing you in that television. Thank you. He's talking to you, Tristan. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know what he, Elvis thinks about me, though. I, uh, I tell you. <laughs> it's nice talking to you, you really. Thank, thank you, thank today. you. Okay, thank you very much, folks. You can see them perform this afternoon. The Garden Grove Elks clowns and lodge officers bring us this old-fashioned steam engine float. Among the 30 colorful clowns are clown chairman John Thompson, co-chairman Charlie Barnhouse, and... Garden Grove Elks Exalted Ruler Art Barnett. That's the Grand Poobah to you. The Grand Poobah, yeah. All of the Elks officers are dressed in red coats. Obviously. Obviously. And these clowns recently won the Orange Coast District Ritual Contest, which qualifies them to compete in the California Hawaii Elks Association Ritual Contest. We'd like to wish you yes. good luck in the contest. It, all the best. All the best. Ah, uh, what do you got in that? <laughs> the Garden Grove Elks Clown Everyone's and Lodge clown. Officers. Yes. This is another self-propelled float. Now, let's welcome Mayor Pro Tem Robert F. Dinson. Following a four-year term starting in 1982, he was re-elected to the City Council in 1986. Now, Mayor Pro Tem Dinson is a retired building contractor and has lived in Garden Grove with his family for 39 years. This morning, he's joined by his wife, Jackie, granddaughter, Becky, and grandson, Michael Martin. We want to welcome you to the 30th Strawberry Festival. Robert Dinson, can you hear us? No, I didn't. What did you say? <laughs> we uh. welcome you to the festival. You've got a good-looking family in that car. <laughs> Well, these are a couple of kids that I just picked up. They start calling me Grandpa, but Sounds I'm not even old enough to be a Grandpa. You sure about that? That car's old enough, Robert. <laughs> We're glad you could be with us yes. today. Thank you. Hello, Jackie. Oh, the people of Huntington Beach are very happy to present an exciting 4th of July design entitled Yankee Doodle Dandy. Hmm? Oh, no, no Yankee, Yankee Doodle, Doodle 4th. Fourth. See, I stand corrected. You assume too much. Well, you see, you're from Australia. You pay more attention. Gigantic firecrackers bring the excitement of the Huntington Beach 4th of July celebration here to Garden Grove. Miss Huntington Beach, Tracy Osteen and her court, Jennifer Shepard, Teresa Miller, Jenny Piccolo, and Susan Erickson are riding on the float, which also displays an Uncle Sam's hat exploding with colorful stars. Thank you, Huntington Beach, for this lovely entry. Don't they look good? They look very relaxed up there. Now, I bet everyone along the parade route, especially the children, recognize this guy. It's Bugs Bunny. He's come all the way from Six Flags Magic Mountain to be with us this morning. Uh, the Bugs Bunny Wonder Circus out of the park gives children a chance to actually be a part of the show. And then after the show, Bugs roams around Magic Mountain giving hugs, uh, uh, picking pockets and taking pictures with all the kids. <laughs> He looks awfully good in that white thunderbird. He looks awfully big. He looks awfully big as well, yes. I like the thunderbird. Ooh, who's coming next, Tristan? Uh, we apologize. Wait a minute. We apologize for this. This is, this is Power 106 FM's giant radio, big beat. And I know this guy. This is Jay Thomas, heard weekday mornings in L.A. Uh, it's also Orange County's number one radio station. Now, you can also see Jay on NBC's series Cheers, playing retired hockey star and Carla's husband, Eddie Lieback. Jay also has a, uh, was a regular on Mork and Mindy and has appeared on several motion pictures. Now, riding with Jay is his sidekick, Jane Johnson. Jay, is it true that Elvis Presley is alive and in the back of that pluck there? Huh? Is it true? Do I need a microphone or can I use this one? Try that one. Elvis Presley is in the big bean here for power. That's what we thought, yeah. Hold it one second. Stop this thing so the cameras can see. Now you see my real personality, Miss Struthers. Hello, Jay. It's a pleasure to see you. This is Power Jaws, Jane Johnson, my niece. <laughs> Hello, Jay. And this is my adopted son, Hal 9000. 
pleasure to see you. Tristan, have you made love to any of the women here at the uh, the parade? Well, I only got here about an hour ago, so... Oh, uh, only an hour ago? Yeah. Well, it's, an, it's early. You look remarkably good for a guy on radio. You, 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 you had a shave, right? That's right. Good seeing you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Look at those cute kids. I know. They're waving at somebody in their family. With plum soda. Oh, boy. Now, the next Dio, is... Dio, Dio Rogers oh. from the city of Nuevo. Good. He's riding this morning in fast, fancy Western costume. He, in his 19 years of parading, Dio Rogers has won 270 trophies and can usually be found in the Pasadena Rose Parade. He's brought and them the all Hollywood with him, Christmas too, I think, parade. yeah. Welcome, Dio Rogers. Sitting on a chrome plated saddle. Now, the next is Kevin O'Connell. Kevin is CBS TV's weatherman on the Channel 2 Action News, 6 and 11, and host of the Sunday morning program, Channel 2 Digest, which, of course, reviews special news reports and series. Joining Kevin is his son, Kevin Jr. Kevin's my favorite Irishman. Hi, Kevin! Sally, it's good to see you. How you doing, Tristan? Good to see you. Good to see you too, mate. Did you foresee this beautiful weather for our 30th annual Strawberry Festival Parade? Well, the way I look at it, it's probably a lot better than sitting under the beating sun. Right, folks? All right, I rest my case, Sally. <laughs> I couldn't have said that better myself. I'll tell you, this parade has been very, very good to me. It's, uh, it's a real... Uh, very, very, very cleverly good. said. It's Hi, Kevin Jr. Who's that driving you? Your name? Betsy from Caviar. Betsy from Betsy. Caviar. Betsy and a happy Caviar. Memorial Day to everybody as well. Have Thank a good you, weekend. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Welcome. Sal. Now, with 130 members, now how do you say that? Ruby Doo. Scooby Doo, Ruby Doo High School, Delta Alliance Corps, performs under the direction of Charles Gray. And the band is wearing black and white West Point Cadet style uniforms. The guard is dressed in red, black and white, and this popular group received awards for their participation in the Palm Springs, Baldwin Park, Santa Ana and San Juan Parade. Let's listen as they uh, play for us with drum major Mike as Colsey leading. Mm. Why did they stop when I say that? Well, they want to first get you into the rhythm of the drums. And yes. just when you've got the beat, they're going to blast you away with their music. I mean, we're talking 130 members strong. This is heavyweight stuff. You know, all of the festival's activities are located at the Village Green at 12762 Euclid Avenue, right here in Garden Grove. You can take rides, play carnival games, try your favorite foods, or browse through the exhibit booths of arts and craft shows. It sounds like a lot of fun. I think everybody should hop in their car and I come think, on down. I think. I think. They're going to be here on Monday. And I think it's about time we went to a commercial. Yes, so please don't go away. We've with got a, much more coming up. And with a bit of luck, we'll be here. Garden Grove is family living. Discover a new home. Garden Grove has a style and a price range that is right for you. Quiet streets, a sense of pride and beauty. Neighborhood and community improvements are a way of life in Garden Grove. Best of all, Garden Grove is in the heart of Orange County. Close to work, close to home. Garden Grove. You should see us now. Garden Grove is People Services. Discover the advantages of a community alive with social activity and cultural events. People meeting people. Coming together. Making a community. And Garden Grove is there to help because we know we're only as good as our people. Garden Grove. You should see us now. And I'm Sally Struthers, and we want to welcome you to the 30th Strawberry Festival Parade right here in beautiful Garden downtown Grove. Downtown Garden Grove. Downtown? Are we downtown? I don't know. I, I've never been through Garden Grove. I don't know where is uptown or where is downtown. Well, let's see who's coming next. Maybe they can tell us. Oh, we've got Councilman Walt Donovan. He first served the city council from 1972 to 1980, and then he was re-elected as councilman in 1984. Councilman Donovan is a native Californian and a longtime resident of Garden Grove. He attended Garden Grove High School, where he was elected student body president. All right. And their grandson's there. 
Tommy and Sean, not to mention his delightful wife, Diane. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. It's really a pleasure to have you folks here today, and I wish everybody watching on TV to come down and see us in Garden Grove. And Indeed. See what great pleasure things to be we're here. doing. Well said, Councilman. I couldn't have put thank that you. better myself. Well, he's Alex. a student body president. He should know how to do that. Right. Let's take a close look at this unique equestrian unit. The riders are members of the Palos Verdes Peninsula Peruvian Paso Horse Club. I couldn't say that again if I tried. Woo. The Passabilities. The club was formed in 1986 to promote the Peruvian Paso Horse. The most distinguishing feature of the breed is the unusual natural gait, which makes it the smoothest riding horse in the world. Riding in the group are presidents Howard Tuttle and Judy Schnurk. Mm. Oh, now parade spectators get to see a replica of an original stagecoach used 80 years ago in the Old West to deliver mail, supplies, and, of course, gold. Not if you to look, mention people. If you look closer, you'll see the original bullet holes. And one of them is driver Doug Murphy. <laughs> He's original, too, yeah. <laughs> Riding shotgun is the manager of the Wells Fargo Bank Garden Grove branch, Skip Wells. Other staff members also dressed in Western costumes are riding inside the coach. The stagecoach is provided with the compliments of Wells Fargo Bank. Now, performing in green and white uniforms here are the L.A. Drillettes. Or La Drillettes. La Drillettes. As we say when we are on the continent. I think this is one of those things where you say, now for something completely different. Oh, boy, can they They're go. really getting down over here. I'm going like to get some of those boots okay. and strut my stuff. You know, when I was in high school, Tristan, the first five letters of my last name spell strut. Where, and, uh, where were you? When were you in high school? I was in high school when... Uh, you want to really go into that? When they first started this parade <laughs> 30 years ago. But I'm from Portland, Oregon. Look at these drillettes. March. All right. All right. And this is their drum squad. Get on down. All right, now I want to have a big welcome here to the California Lottery. And they're entering our parade for the second year in a row. A spectrum of color sets, the scene for highlights of the lottery. The instant wing tickets, the lotto stubs, and the big spin wheel. All the excitement of Wednesday and Saturday nights, plus the thrill of the scratch and play tickets, all wrapped up into this beautiful float. Well, at least they're not scratch and sniff tickets. <laughs> True. I've been a few of those movies, you know, that's you? so interesting. What but about the magazines? Oh, yes, the yeah. magazines, you know, when you're out, yeah. you've forgotten to on spray your perfume trip, on, maybe, you've yeah. got to stop Bus by a magazine. Something. The lottery salutes the people of Garden Grove and invites everyone to join in the fun. I buy lottery tickets, do you? I've never purchased one. It is so much fun. I get so excited. Do if you? I win my $2 if back, you, if, I'm thrilled. Have you ever won anything? Yes, as I told you earlier, I won a Toyota. I've won a couple of Emmy Awards. But I, think, I think this is a definite crowd favorite coming up here. It's Ronald McDonald, and he's come all the way from McDonald Land and represents the McDonald's Operators Association. Uh, this beautiful antique car he's riding in is one of 12 remaining 1933 Packard Victorias in the world. Oh, I love Packards. Uh, this car will also compete in the Great American Race to raise money for the Ronald McDonald House in Orange County. How about a big round of See, applause Ronald for Ronald? See, Ronald McDonald, he's a favorite of the kids. Hi, Ronald. Go, go. Looking good. Everything's going great. You got any hamburgers there, Ron? <laughs> you know, I've visited some, visited some Ronald McDonald's time, yeah. houses and they do a remarkable job for those kids and Indeed. their parents. Yeah. Well, that car is the temple most banner. Impressive. The Look car. at what we've got next. Oh, right. It's being carried by two members of Gold Coast Shrine Club. Noble Tom Bricky is in charge of the banner. That temple banner is a beauty. Now the Legion of Honor carry flags at all shrine functions. All Legion members are or were in the armed forces of the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Right behind them. Yes, we see coming. The Calliope. The Calliope. The Calliope. Uh, the Calliope is being driven by Noble Art Noel. The passenger represents the shrine's work for the crippled children's hospital. Now, the drum and bugle corps is one of the musical units of the temple and is led by President Noble Bill Pettifer and drum major Noble Don Michelson. Is that what it is, a Calliope or a Calliope? 
Well, here in America, we call it a calliope. We don't even have them back in Australia. Calliope is a fun name. Calliope. I'm looking for that drum and bugle corps that you just told us about, they're and right, I'm... They're right there. I'm seeing a... Uh, You're right. What I happened I think to the pyramid patrol. Aha. Uh -huh. And this is one of the marching units of the temple and the official escort of the potent of all the shrine. Did I say that right? I hope potent. so. Potent. Potent. Potentate. Potentate. There you go. See, we, you'd never know that we didn't rehearse this, would you? Of all shrine functions, the president is noble Travis Westerman. And they're making a lot of noise. These are called the royal chariots. Yeah. You see, they all drive dune buggies with custom-made bodies. These yeah. nobles provide transportation for the potentate and his divan. The president is noble Dan Friermouth, and the captain is noble Bob Luckout. The temple guard unit are the, cust the, the guardians of the entrances and the exits of all the temple meetings and the ceremonials. The president this year is Joe Capricci, and the captain is noble Don D. Welcome. You did very well with I didn't that. do that bad, did I? Now, the pipes and drums are one of the newer units of the temple. These nobles are all wear authentic Scottish garb. Uh, when they get here. The president is Noble Norm Ferguson and pipe major is Noble Bill Lowe. I've always wondered what a gentleman wears under his kilt. I, I would have expected you to say something like that. Well, it's a fascination that the whole world carries and I think only if you're a Scotsman do you know the truth. Uh -huh. Too bad these guys aren't mic'd or I'd ask them. Yeah, probably just as well, I think. Uh, what's bringing up the rear there? What's that, all that ruckus going on behind? Well, everyone loves a clown. I ought to know. These men are all dedicated to two things. The first is the Shriners Hospital for Crippled Children, where they perform for the children. And the second thing is performing for parade spectators. The president is Noble Francis Cherney, and the director is Noble Oral Fig. And I think bringing up the rear directly behind them is it's a, a commercial. commercial. We're going to have to go to a commercial, but there's lots more parades, so please come right back with us. Garden Grove is culture. Discover the excitement. Footlights. Drama musical inspiration, activity that reflects a community expressing itself. Its heart lies in the Village Green Art Complex. Every Garden Grove summer, Shakespeare comes to life in the Gem Theater and under the stars. The Garden Grove Symphony performs the music of the masters. Mills House Art Gallery exhibits the work of regional and international artists. And the Garden Grove Strawberry Festival is one of the largest community-sponsored events in the country. Excitement, entertainment, culture. Garden Grove, you should see us now. We're still here and so is Garden Grove. It's still on the map. And it's still the Strawberry Festival. The 30th annual Strawberry Festival Garden Grove Parade. Why don't we see what's happening. I think the Alibaba sheiks are passing. Indeed. They do all of the cooking and serving at many of the temple affairs. How's that? The president is noble Don Nielsen and the captain is noble Daryl Teff. And following them is the motor patrol. It's a parade unit of nobles who own their own motor scooters. They practice their maneuvers each week to ensure more first place awards and trophies at regional and national shrine competitions. Now the Riverside Motor Nobles represent Victoria Shrine Club and the Albuquerque Temple. These men all own their own motorcycles and their uniforms. Mm. And they're very active in many temple events. The president is Noble Irv Cross and the captain is Noble Robert Riley. Now, let's welcome Congressman Robert K. Dornan of the 38th Congressional... I'll do that again. 38th Congressional District? Yes, as my accent gets in the way. Yeah. Uh, he's currently a member of eight congressional committees, including the Veterans Affairs Committee. Among Congressman Dornan's accomplishments is the origin, the origination 
of the PAW MIA bracelets worn during the Vietnam War. We're glad he's joined us this morning with his grandchildren, Colin, Kevin, and Tara. Not to mention Ricky, Anna, and his wife, Sally. Hi, Sally. Welcome back. Welcome, Congressman Dornan. So glad to see you. Do you have room for four more in there? Good to see you. All right. With three sweepstakes awards in the past six months and a number one ranking in the Pacific Southwest region for the last two years in a row, yeah. the U.S. Naval Sea Cadets Santa Monica Division perform under Commanding Officer Senior Chief Jackson. Platoon leader is 15-year-old Petty Officer Raul Miglietti. You got that right. Now, they're all dressed in navy dress blues with red berets and white ascots representing the red, white, and blue stripes of the American flag. Well, you just gave me goosebumps when you said that. Fifteen-year-old petty officer. He doesn't look 15 years old. He looked 12 if he was a day. Ooh, I wonder if the people at home can hear the taps on their shoes. Very, very bright. They look quite handsome in those berets. You should get a beret, Tristan. No, I can't wear hats. Why not? It's not um, your real hair? No. No. Now, following the U.S. Naval Sea Cadet Corps is the USS Los Angeles float representing the Los Angeles Navy Recruiting District. One of 51 officers of the recruiting stations in the district is also located right here in Garden Grove. Now, originally, the ship's hull was used as a Japanese battleship in the John Wayne movie In Harm's Way. I saw that movie. This I was in 1967. It was donated to the Los Angeles Navy Recruiting District where Navy Reserve personnel added the aluminium superstructure. Today, the cruiser USS Los Angeles travels throughout the Southern California area, appearing in numerous parades. Doesn't that look great? Somebody built that. Yes. I'd like to know who. Yes. I guess that took a while. This should be in the Guinness Book of Records. Well, here comes a father and son equestrian unit, Bill Naylor and his son, Billy. Billy's riding in the junior equestrian category, and his father, Bill, is in the working man division on his horse, Sunrise Dancer. And they are armed. They are prepared <laughs> for anything by the looks of it. Let's say hello to Frank Bonner. Let's do. Yeah, let's, hello, Frank. Hi, Tristan. Hi, Sally. Hi. I want to tell you one r real quick story. Yeah. Sally Struthers is the epitome of good luck. We were in a celebrity ski race about two months ago. She had never been on skis before. I'm hearing about this. And she won a car. Yes. All I got for my effort was a backache. Yeah, well, <laughs> them's is the problem. Well, we, That's true. We love you, Frank. He was so great on WKRP in Cincinnati. No, we love you, Sally. Now he directs episodes of Family we Ties you, and Sally. Head of the Class in Frank's evening Place. News. And he plays Father Hargis in ABC series Just the Ten of Us. You did that well. You really got all that out. Thank you. Marching together, representing all of Orange County. Here are the instructors, students, and juniors of Jazzercise, the nation's number one fitness program. Janine Lane manages the group, which participated in the closing ceremonies of the L.A. Summer Olympics and Liberty Weekend in New York. Judy Shepard, Missette, organized Jazzercise 19 years ago, and today... There are over 475,000 students. And rumor has it they're all going to make an appearance here today. Hmm. They look awfully energetic for this hour of the morning. They look awfully fit for this hour of the morning. Yeah. There's a lot of movement there. Now, if you want any more information about the Strawberry Festival activities, you can call 714 area code 638-0981. Now, now, our next equestrian unit is the Arlington High School Future Farmers of America. They're from Riverside, California, and this group was formed nine years ago to promote the Future Farmers of America Youth Program. In 1987, they were recognized as the CSHA High Point Reserve Champions. You know what the CHSHA is? That's the California State Horsemen's Association. I'm glad you said that. Each of the riders is interested in agricultural science and is wearing the National FFA Blue Jacket. Don't they look cute? They look cute. Their horses look cute. 
Representing the Garden Grove City Council, here is Councilman Raymond T. Luttrell, riding with his wife, Marilyn. He and his family moved to Garden Grove in 1960 after being introduced to Southern California while serving in the armed services. In 1982, Councilman Luttrell was elected to his first team on the City Council first term and was re-elected to his current term in 1986. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, Sally. It's a good evening, a good day to have a parade. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Luttrell. He's gone. He's gone. Now our next two riders, Will and Francesca Winter, or no, Francesca Winter. I made this mistake during the rehearsal. Take us back to the 1850s with their Spanish costumes. These are the types of costumes which would have been worn by young gentlemen and a young girl out on an afternoon ride. Will is 13 years old and is riding his quarter horse, Mr. Something Royal. Francesca is 11 and is riding on her Pinto Mr. Lucky in an authentic 1850s side saddle. Together, Will and Francesca won over 49 first place awards in 1987. All right, well, let's listen to this award-winning band, the Santa Ana Wins Senior Youth Band, under the direction of Robert L. Ward. Gail Jones is the manager with solo majorette Bryn Lawrence and drum major Richard Mercado. They took home two sweepstakes awards just two weeks ago. Let's listen to the Santa Ana Wins, the official ambassadors of music for Orange County. Mm. Her name is Bryn Lawrence. She's doing a great job. How, you, how much rehearsal do you suppose it takes to get to that level? A baton twirling or playing a musical instrument while you march? Baton twirling. More than I ever cared to give it. My baton always fell on the floor or on my head, so I gave it up. And became an actress. Yes. Go figure. <laughs> now, I think the uniforms that these people love, that these people come out in, truly make the whole thing fantastic. And I think we're about to hip off to a commercial. We are, but when you come back, we'll be here. And Maybe. there'll be lots more parade. Garden Grove is the pioneer spirit. Discover the heritage. We grew from strawberry fields to towering glass and steel buildings. Industry, commerce, dynamic. Garden Grove's Main Street renovation is an expression of growth and change. We're looking to the future, making it happen. Garden Grove, you should see us now. Garden Grove is industrial development. Discover the vitality. A sleek skyline, rising, catching the sun. Contemporary office centers finding a dynamic future in Garden Grove. Competitively priced industrial space. Industrial development creating thousands of jobs. A talented labor pool. And easy access from Orange and Los Angeles counties. Garden Grove, you should see us now. Welcome back live. And where are we? We're in Garden Grove. And what is it? The 30th Annual Strawberry Festival Parade. And I'm Tristan Rogers. And I'm Sally Struthers. Let's see who's coming next. Aha! Uh -huh. The Grove, the Garden Grove Fire Department proudly displays vehicles currently used in firefighting and emergency efforts. Riding on the engine and making his first appearance in the Strawberry Festival Parade is Fire Chief Lon Kale. Let's hear it for Lon. Where did he go? These guys risk their lives every day, and they deserve a big round of applause. I agree. I've never ridden in a fire truck. Never. Then again, no one's ever asked me. You ever ridden in an ambulance? Yes, I've ridden in an ambulance <laughs> when I fell and broke my leg skiing two years in a row. After my second cast came off my leg, my father took my skis away. So how did you come to win a car? They drew my name out of a hat. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, an explosive fireworks display is the design of this float entry representing the Orange County Special is Olympics Is it self-propelled? It's a self-propelled float, right. yes, and I'm glad you asked me yeah. that. It features the program's senior queen, Elizabeth Castillo, with her two princesses, Melissa Bateman and Michelle Fluss. And junior queen, Goldie Von Weiland and her two princesses, Joey and Jennifer. These girls are picked from the many girls who enter the Orange County Special Olympics pageant each May. The Green Float Company has proudly sponsored the Special Olympics program with a float for the past 10 years. Mm. Looking good. Ooh, now, who's this? Here's a talented young actor, Dustin. And I've worked with this guy, Dustin Yen. Dustin took up acting to overcome his shyness. Early in his career, he landed a seventh month role in the daytime drama, General Hospital. Now he's co-starring in Fox Broadcasting's highly successful series, 21 Jump Street, where he plays the fashion conscious Aoki. Welcome, Dustin. Hey. Hi, how are you doing there? Good to see you again. What do you, you think doing, of all the 50s things that are coming back into fashion? What's your favorite? Well, the music from the 50s has always been my favorite, so this is great. You so. weren't even born back in the 50s. No, I wasn't, but for some, I must have been there before or something, you know? <laughs> Past life? Yeah. You and Shirley MacLaine. <laughs> Thanks, Dustin Glenn. Good to see you. Now. Now we've got the Rancho Alamitos High School in Garden Grove. And they present the Vaqueros, the band dressed in green and white. West Point style uniforms is directed by Philip Perales and led by drum major Claudia Kaiser. Last year, Tristan, they won first place in the Hollywood St. Patrick's Day Parade. I've Let's never, listen. I've never been to a St. Patrick's Day Parade. Well, you've missed something then. I know. Green beer all I around. I know. I've never been able to deal with that. I think it's that time to go to a commercial. Um, but with a bit of luck, before we do that, we have a special pre-tape message from Garden Grove senior member of the city council, Milton Krieger. He moved to Garden Grove in 67, was first elected as councilman in 74, and served as mayor pro tem for four terms. We're sorry that he couldn't be with us this morning, but we're glad to be able to play councilman Krieger's message for you. Good afternoon. I'm Councilman Milt Krieger. I hope you're enjoying our parade. Don't miss this year's festival. Make Garden Grove your family's weekend for fun. Games, rides, great variety of foods, and of course, strawberries. While you're here, take a good look at Garden Grove. I don't think you could find a better place to live, work, or play. Come to Garden Grove's Strawberry Festival. Garden Grove is diversity. Discover the balance in a city that has what you're looking for. Garden Grove offers a complete spectrum of choices, a wide variety of affordable housing, quality schools, employment opportunities, the diversity in entertainment and in recreational activities. A balance of new things to see, new things to do in Garden Grove. Garden Grove offers the balance of work and play in the lifestyle you choose. A choice. Garden Grove, you should see us now. Guess Welcome what? back. Where, where are we? We're in Garden Grove, California. And what are we doing here? We are celebrating the 30th annual Strawberry Festival, and what's happening at the moment is the Strawberry Festival Parade. And who are you? I'm uh, Tristan Rogers. And I'm Sally Struthers. Let's meet A. Martinez and Danny Ponce. Hey, guys. All right. Good to see you. Looking good. Good to see you, too. This is your first parade, I think. Just about. Feels like it, Tristan. <laughs> What time were you up this morning? A. Martinez is the current leading man role as Cruz Castillo in NBC's daytime drama. All right. Ralph's The Giant Express presents this float entitled Friends of the Community. 
Friends of the Community Project manages 27 sponsors who've joined together to supply gift certificates to non-profit agencies within the community. Program manager is Hector Tova. Clowning around uh, the friends of the community are Hoppy's Musical Clowns, and then there's uh, Dizzy, Rainbow, um, Betty Boop's there somewhere, uh, Daisy, Sparkly, uh, Miss Pepsi, uh, Manny Moe and Jack, I think, are in there somewhere as well. And look at the little doggy. Which one's that? I wonder what his name is. Is that, <laughs> Diz <laughs> is that Dizzy or Sparkly? I think that must be Betty Boop Boop. <laughs> Hi guys. I think hmm. in every other life but this one I had to be a Barnum and Bailey clown because I really relate to clowns. Do you? Yeah, I refer to myself as a clown. I've never been to a circus. Well, you've missed something. From the Orange County Board of Supervisors and representing over 400,000 residents here, Supervisor Roger R. Stanton. He was first elected to the Board of Supervisors in November 1980 and then re-elected in June of 84. Supervisor Stanton takes an active interest in welfare reform, housing, child welfare issues, senior citizens affairs, and the management of county programs, and he's joined by his wife, Karen. Welcome, Supervisor Stanton and Karen. Good to see you. They didn't give him a microphone. No microphone. And that must be a young Stanton riding in front. Now, Captain Jerry Bowen and co-captain Manny Char lead this five-member color guard unit from the American Legion Post 132 in the city of Orange. They're wearing navy blue and white uniforms and have been marching together for five years. Give it a rest, guys. <laughs> After five years, five you years. must be really wiped. Yes, yeah, stop. Sit down. What's bringing up the rear down. here? Ooh, on the city of Orange float is the current Miss Orange, 1988. 21-year-old Jennifer Davis. She's attending Chapman College, working on her BA degree with an emphasis on dance and commercial entertainment. Jennifer will be competing in the Miss California, Miss America pageants this June in San Diego. Good luck, Jennifer. All the best. And along with Jennifer are the 12 1989 Miss Orange finalists who will compete for Miss Orange on July 22. Best of luck to you all. Indeed. Now, next is Jerry Margolin, Garden Grove Chamber of Commerce President. In addition to serving his first term as president, he's acting as publicity chairman for the Strawberry Festival Association. The Garden Grove Chamber of Commerce is enjoying its largest membership ever, numbering 850. Now, recently, the successfully published and distributed, they successfully published and distributed a city fact book to 25,000 Garden Grove residents, listing businesses, community services that are all available in this area. Well, that's a must. That's a bestseller. Welcome, Jerry Margolin. What's that? Well, marching in red, white, and blue Spanish style uniforms. Good to see you, Jerry. These are the Bolsa Grande marching matadors. Andy Bumate directs this 50 member group along with drum major again? Bill Hollis. Andy Bumate. Right. Tall flag captain Danette Kirksland, swing flag captain April Hurd, and advisor Kim Acosta. The Bolsa Grande marching matadors were formed 29 years ago. Let's listen. I think it's that time again. The 30th Annual Garden Grove Festival Parade will continue right after this. Here we are, live, high atop a car wash in Garden Grove, presenting to you... The 30th Annual Strawberry Festival Parade. And what's next? Well... I think you should tell everybody what's next, Tristan. You do? Yes, I do. Well, young and old alike, enjoy the activities of the festival. And here representing the Senior Citizen Center of Garden Grove, our senior king and queen, Pappy and Nyleta Ort. Nyleta Ort what? <laughs> Fellow senior citizens nominate and then vote on the king and queen, which are then crowned at the annual strawberry ball. This morning, they are riding in an antique Ad War Farms delivery truck. Now, we hear they're the first husband and wife to be elected together. That's great. And that they've donated 25,000 hours of community service. <laughs> the mood of 1988 is captured in this float design from the Boy, city of Costa Mesa, the home of the lion's fish fry. The spirit of the Olympics sets the scene for beautiful Miss Costa Mesa, Linda Santos and her court, Karen Jones, Lisa Holmes, Tracy Rhodes, Shanna Francis, Monica Cap 
Caballero and Kelly Frawley. These girls proudly travel to neighboring cities as a gesture of goodwill. Do you suppose they'd back up? I missed that one. <laughs> now, Chuck Davis rides in the working Western man category. He's from Norco, California, and we're glad to welcome him here in Garden Grove. We hear he's back in the saddle, as they say, after recovering from heart surgery. Congratulations, Chuck. He looks great. He's prepared for anything, too, by the looks of it. Riding in me and Ed's Pizza Parlor 1939 Mech Fire Engine are two busy young actors, Brian Green and Benji Gregory. Along with his regular role as Donna Mills' son on Knott's Landing, Brian starred in ABC's miniseries Baby M. I watched that the other night. It Did was you? great. Now, Benji, Benji Gregory, won the role of Brian Tanner on NBC's hit series Elf after starring in the Disney Sunday night movie Mr. Bogarty. Hey, welcome, guys. Listen, either of you two going to be over at the Village Green to enjoy some of the other activities later? Well, we're going to try to be over there. Good. So Looking forward to seeing you. Thanks Don't worry about it. What do we have here? Cute. Pick Your Part Auto owns this beautifully restored 1931 Oldsmobile Cabriolet. It finished in the 87, 1987 that was, Great American Race from Disneyland to Disney World in Orlando. And has won numerous awards in both East and West Coast shows. Now returning for another year in the Garden Grove Strawberry Festival Parade are the Marching Cavaliers from San Diego High School in Garden Grove. Let's hear it. They are a popular with the crowd we hear screaming. 110 members make up the band, drill team and color guard units. Director Bob Frelli, drill team captains Julie Gildehouse and Roxanne Gandera, color guard Captain Rick Burns and drum major Frank De La Rosa lead the separate units. Let's listen to this award-winning band. Well, we'll listen here, but you stay with us because you're going to go away to a commercial. Garden Grove is progress. Discover the opportunities. We're attracting the best commercial and industrial developers. Garden Grove City Council helps businesses and residents with planned development for the future. Products and services. Cultural events and neighborhood improvements. We're a force of the future. The Garden Grove City Government is committed to creating new jobs. A more beautiful community. Our Civic Center is the focal point for city government, community meetings, and police and fire protection. Garden Grove gives you the opportunity. Build a business. Create a family. Shape your future. Garden Grove, you should see us now. Now, this beautiful float was the Queen's Trophy winner from the 1987 Strawberry Festival Parade. And it's back. Yes, it's from the city of Anaheim and carries four rather attractive ladies. They are Miss Anaheim, Kathy Kurtz, and her princesses, Renee Block, Jessica Rappaport, and Tanya Pearson. Each of the girls is dressed in long gowns and wears a crown and banner representative of her honor. I always envied those girls. I think Rip Taylor on wanted to be on this float. <laughs> he did, but his hair wasn't long enough. This is another one of those self-propelled floats. All right. Baseball fans, you all know this guy, former, former, let's try it with the mouth, <laughs> California Angels player and veteran Southpaw Clyde Wright. He rates in the all-time top 10 in seven major pitching categories and went into the record books as a 100-game major league winner. He was the first California Angels pitcher to throw a no-hitter at Anaheim Stadium and completed his eighth season career with the Angels in 73. We want to welcome you. How are you Clyde Wright! Why? Welcome! Who were some of your baseball heroes of the 50s? In the 50s? Yes, yeah. you had to have a baseball hero in the 50s. Come on, the you're alive The two that then. come to my mind were Willie Mays and Mickey Mantle. All right, that's so, everybody's favorite. I'm sure everybody's heard of those two gentlemen. They were, that's a safe choice there, uh, Clyde. And Thank who's you. with you today, Clyde? This is my wife, Vicki. Vicki, you, you are Vicky. beautiful. And I would like to say hi to my five children at home because they'll beat me up if I don't say hi to them. Well, you just did. <laughs> we don't want to have that. Good to see you. Good to see you. Enjoy Thank the you. Strawberry Festival. The Los Pe... Pe Could you say that 
no, for me. No, 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 you know, no, no. I get so upset when I have to read anything in Spanish. Payosis. Payosis. That's, that's not bad for an Australian. Very good. Well, these are the Los Payosas clowns, and they're here to cheer the spectators along the parade route. One of these bicycling clowns built all of the bicycles for the group, and another one of the guys created clown, creative clown, made their colorful outfits, and they've been entertaining audiences for 11 years. This year, they're directed by Frank R. Martinez. Mm. Now, following the clowns is K-Ocean's on-air personality, Cindy Davis. She can be heard on 103.1 with the best variety of Orange County music between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Cindy's also serving the Strawberry Festival as one of the judges for the annual talent contest, and that takes place at 7.30 p.m. this evening. Tell me, Cindy, what are you looking forward to, or what are you looking for in the talent contest? I'm not sure, but I hear that everything is very interesting. If it's not really good talent, it's at least interesting. At so, least interesting. Yeah. Well, we love K-Ocean. Thank you. And we love the car you're in, too. Yeah, me too. I think I'm going to try and convince him if I can take it home. I'm sure it's negotiable. Equestrian Mike Perez is dressed in an early California Spanish style costume. Although this is only his third appearance in Garden Grove, Mike has been parading for how long now? Oh, uh, 10 years, is it? Maybe ten longer? 10 years. Boy, his horse must be tired. Yeah. His many awards include the California State Horseman's Association's Champion and High Point Champion. He's very colorful. Very, very colorful. I mine. wonder if the horses like wearing all of that. I wonder. The city of Garden Grove is proud to present the first fire engine used by the city. They've still got they've it? Still, and they've actually washed it. It was purchased in 1926 and has been restored by the Garden Grove Historical Society with a little help from local donations. Now, among the passengers are Historical Society President Dennis Witcher, Restoration Committee Chairman, Marge Sterrett, and member Leonard Zerlo. Is that right? Zerlot, Zerlot, I hope I haven't mispronounced that. Who actually restored the 1926 Brockman American La France fire engine. Hey, you did a great job there, guys. That is a beauty. It's also self-propelled. <laughs> it is self-propelled. <laughs> There is no better finale to a festival parade than the Long Beach Junior Concert Band. The group is the official host youth band for the city of Long Beach. Marvin Marker organized the group in 1952, the year you were born, right, Tristan? Right, yeah. And is They're still directing. Anyway. Yeah. Marvin Marker does a wonderful job. These talented young performers have appeared on national television and in motion pictures and regularly perform at major events such as the that Tournament of Roses Parade. And Super Bowls. And the Hollywood Christmas Parade. Right. And the duty master, Greg Colson, and Mace Drum Major. What's a Mace Drum Major? I don't know. I hope he's not going to spray it's anything spray over here. <laughs> Jerry Cadenis, lead them for today's performance. And I think we're about to get the performance now. Either that or they're frozen. Yeah. Whoa! I Very guess that nice. Means, I guess we're drawing to a close. This is a great finale. I can hear that Looney Tuney music. <laughs> Ooh, the sign changed right before our eyes. Yeah. Long Beach Junior Concert Band. Marvin Marker is the director. Oh, now you see these band members, they look like they could have marched right through that movie, The Music Man. I never saw that. Oh, what a wonderful movie that was. And all of the members of the town got their little band uniforms and they learned how to play and they look very, very much like the Long Beach Junior Concert Band. Well, Listen to the music for a while. Let's. I wish I'd said that. You did say that. Can you name that tune? In three notes or less. You know, I never got involved in healthy activities like this when I was a kid. I was too busy doing sports. That's pretty healthy. Yes, but there was something kind of... Something about being in a band, learning an instrument. Well, I don't...
don't think you're going to get your shoulder blade broken or you have to have new plastic kneecaps if you play in the band. No, all you got to do is deal with bad reviews, I guess. <laughs> you know, a few of the special activities happening at the Village Green through Monday include the celebrity autograph session, the Legends in Concert performance, which I have seen these guys, and it, this it really isn't anything to be missed. They've got Elvis. Yeah, they've got, who's the other guy? Marilyn Monroe and uh, Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly, and they all look remarkably healthy. And sound exactly like who they're representing. Now, another one of the activities on Monday is the annual Redhead Roundup Contest and a pie-eating and talent contest, as well as many other performing groups. Now, you can enjoy all of the Strawberry Festival activities tonight until midnight, tomorrow from 12 noon to 11.30 p.m., and Monday from 10 a.m. all the way through to 8.30 p.m. This is some Memorial Day weekend. You know, I was in this in 84. You rode in the parade? I was the Grand Marshal. You got to ride in the first car. Yeah. I was pelted with fruit from the start to the end. <laughs> they loved me. <laughs> I love this year's Grand Marshal, Rosemary and... That's the Rip other guy, Taylor. Rip Taylor. He's so funny. Yeah. Oh, I love this song. You love a parade. Over there. That's the like what? Hold, hold, what? Wait. You promised not to sing. All right, I'm sorry, Tristan. I got carried away. That's you what a parade does to me. It carries me sing. away. That was part of the deal. I know. I saw that. I saw that inserted in the contract. You know, the, the beginning of the, the beginning and the end of the parade. I always find the end of a parade, there's something kind of sad about it. Because it means it's the end and there's no more. But the good part is that there'll be another one next year. And an even better part is that they're going to send us home. There's no place like home. You're right. Just like Dorothy said to Toto in The Wizard of Oz. There's also no place like Garden Grove. Especially if you like strawberries. Well, we've had a wonderful well, time here today. It's time to go. Thus, Please farewell to the 30th Strawberry Festival. And where are we? In Garden Grove. And who are you? I'm Sally Struthers. And I'm Tristan Rogers. It's been great. Goodbye to you all.